Sup, witches. I've noticed the cauldron has become a glorified incense burner or a mini fire pit to most modern witches. And that's all great ways to utilize this magical tool, but I wanted to show you that contrary to popular belief, it is still great for potion brewing. When we think of potion brewing, we imagine a large bubbling cauldron over a roaring fire. However, the modern witch has the widely overlooked convenience of an oven, which is the heat source we will be using today to brew our potion. Before we get into this video, if you love our witchy talks as much as I do, hit the subscribe button so you miss not a single one. Okay, now let me show you my potion making process by demonstrating this super easy luck potion that can be used in many different ways, which I'll go over at the end of the video. So let's go over all the supplies we're going to need for the potion brewing process. You need a cast iron cauldron. It has to be cast iron or you cannot put it in the oven. You will need a pot holder to hold your cauldron on as it will be extremely hot when it comes out of the oven. You will need water. My cauldron takes about a cup and a half. Depending on the potion that you're brewing, you will want to choose between water that has been charged in the sun or in the moon. For this potion, sun water is the better choice. However, today I'm using regular tap water for demonstration's sake. You will need bottles to store your potion in. I got these at my local craft store. A funnel to make transferring your liquid a little easier. Lastly, we will need a candle and incense so we end up having a representation for all four of the elements. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. Add your water to the cauldron and I've also prepared a baking sheet just to make it easier to put into and take out of the oven. Now I am preparing my area as I would to open up my sacred space. Just a reminder, everything here should be cleansed and consecrated before you start working. I always incorporate the four elements into my ritual, being represented here by the candle, incense, cauldron, and water. Now I'm going to start adding ingredients. First ingredient is salt for purity. The next ingredient is basil for prosperity and luck. The last ingredient is one stick of cinnamon. Now your brew will look something like this and it's ready to be put into the oven. We're gonna let this go in the oven for 15 minutes. When it's done, it's going to smell absolutely amazing and look something like this. The water has turned an amber color and you can see the herbs have cooked down a bit. As it cools, I'm charging it with crystals that bring good luck. Once it has completely cooled, using the funnel, bottle the potion. After you are done with your cauldron, rinse it out well with fresh water, then bake it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 degrees Celsius for one hour to prevent your cauldron from growing rust, which is never good. That's it, we're done. You can use this potion making process for any type of potion. The super easy good luck potion is great for a ritual bath brew or perhaps a perfume to enchant the user with good luck. It could also be used as a room spray to bring good luck where you need it most, perhaps at your business, or it can be used in other types of spells. Let me know how you use this potion in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and if you want to learn more about how I cast magic, subscribe to my channel. Happy casting, guys.